Hey guys, Penem here again. Today, I got some pretty amazing stuff in the mail. Um, so yeah, long story short, I ordered one of these and I ordered a third of these, as I said uh, in one of my previous uh, Korean booster box opening videos. But also, I did mention that one of my packages got lost in the mail. Well, today, the same day my most recent order came in, I also got the box that was uh, lost in the mail. So technically, it's kind of like a free box. It's more of a surprise box. So uh, for today, for this opening, I'll keep this one for another uh, vid for another time. But for this opening, we have ourselves two booster boxes of Shining Victories in Korean. And uh, that means we have twice the, the, the possibilities, the, the, the amount of luck. Uh, it would be pretty insane. So uh, we'll start off with one box, and if the vid goes uh, smoothly enough, uh, if the vid goes any uh, good, like uh, if we have enough time after opening one box, we'll go for a second one. And uh, I doubt that it would take uh, that little time to open all these booster boxes, because Korean booster boxes have um, 40 packs each instead of 24. But they also have only 5 cards per pack instead of 9. So yeah, um, not going to guarantee the amount of time that it will take to open one box. But still, we are hoping to have the time. Worst case scenario, we'll have 2 opening videos for these. But basically, this is going to be a very satisfying opening for me. Because surprises are always fun. So obviously in here, we'll be looking for uh, Ghost Reaper, the girl on the right over here. Which is the ghost girl of this set. Um, also, we'll be looking for uh, uh, Crystal Wing. Uh, I believe it comes as a uh, ghost, possibly, in here. Which would be pretty awesome to get a ghost rare uh, Crystal Wing. Oh, so we have, oh, I believe this was an ultra rare for the TCG. Okay, we have uh, one of those digital bugs, Trumpeteer, and we start with a foil. We start with, wow, ultimate rare. Wow, this looks amazing. Uh, what What's his name again? Is this Azure Eyes or Dragon Spirit of White? I don't remember, but it looks amazing, and it's ultimate rare. Holy crap. This is amazing this is a great great sign of luck i hope uh we start off with an ultimate rare very cool start wow <laughs> this is ridiculous and this is basically what i meant with this is going to be exceptionally cool for me to open because half of these packs i uh believe i got refunded or the guy just kept uh sending the pack back because he didn't want a bad uh, review or feedback on eBay. So <laughs> this is very, very fun for me. And we have, ooh, uh, this is uh, the Sprite thing, I believe. I'm not, I, I'm not a big um, conne connoisseur of uh, the uh, Shining Victories set. I've only ever opened the uh, special edition display box on this channel and uh, five packs on a sneak peek. So knowing knowing Korean is not my strong uh, point either. So it's going to be hard for me to know most of these cards names. I just know uh, a few of the foils. But uh, also I know a lot about the Cosmos. But Cosmos are were TCG exclusive at the time. So they do not have it in this set. And I believe this will be a foil because you can see there's a gap over here. This will be... Interesting. Oh, it's a synchro. And it's... Shh. Wow. Okay, we have our ultra. Amazing, amazing luck up to now. We have the card on top of the box. We have Crystal Wing as an ultra rare. Super cool to look at. We already have two foils. And we only opened three packs. I'll try to speed things up because I see that this is already taking a little bit uh, much of time at this point. And uh, I do want to try to squeeze all this in uh, one short vid. 
oh yeah, right, there are desk bots, there are uh, Luna Lights, and there are Amorphage cards in this set. And we have, oh wow, this is uh, the Red Dragon Archfiend card. It's uh, Hot Red? No, that's not it. But it's one of those. Pretty interesting. Pretty interesting, nonetheless. It's cool to see that it's a rare over there. I believe this was a foil over here in the TCG. We have another one of those digital bugs. We have the dice thing. Fortissimo, I believe. And, oh, no foils at all. Cool, okay. So, but we do have a Lunalite. Lunalites were so cool when they came out. Uh, we were just hoping to get more support that <laughs> never came to the TCG. But uh, if the support did come out uh, in the TCG, it would have been one of the most interesting uh, archetypes for a while. So this is a Speedroid. Um, I think it's Denko? No, nah, it's not. I really do not know my names for all those cards. I'm sorry, guys, about that. But it's still pretty cool to see the differences between uh, OCG and TCG for rarities. And uh, just the feel of getting some awesome pulls. And we have a digital bug thing as a rare. That's cool. It's respectable. We can respect that. We already have an ultimate rare and an ultra rare. And uh, from what I have experienced in openings before, it's uh, at least one secret, one ultimate, and the rest, well, depends. Usually you get about like five uh, supers or something like that. Oh, we have uh, the, the ritual card. That's interesting. But yeah, and uh, you get at least two to uh, four ultras. Something like that. I believe it's four ultras. Maybe three, depending on your luck. If you get a ghost or something. Oh, we have the perform pal uh, unicorn thing. Cool. Oh, it's, oh, it's, oh, it's the uh, odd eyes uh, perform a pal uh, unicorn. I remember there's odd eyes in the name because people were using it for the fusion back then. Next pack. We have our dynamist. Another uh, bond. Oh, and we have this. Uh, what the hell is this? I do not remember the name of this card. Why don't I remember the name of this card? The artwork is amazing. Is this an amorphage card? I don't, rem I don't know why I don't know the name. Usually when the artwork is uh, amazing or uh, at least noteworthy, even for commons, I usually remember the name or at least part of it. Next pack, we have an Amorphage again. That's cool. Okay, we have, oh, we have the field spell uh, for the uh, white cards. Not the white cards, but you know what I mean, the of white cards. For the, the blue eyes archetype, basically, but. Next pack. Okay. Quite a few of these already. And we have, oh, that's the uh, Dark Knight thing. The Dark Knight. Uh, crap. I do not remember the name again. But I do know it's uh, the Dark Warrior uh, thing. It's basically like the opposite of uh, Art Knight Parsat. Let's go. Awesome pulls. Let's do it. We need a foil. It's been a while. Oh, no foils, but we have a rank up magic. In Korean, they just decided to write R-U-M for rank up magic. I believe that's for the Raid Raptors. Not sure, but it looks like one of those Raid Raptor cards. Oh, 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 oh. We have an ultimate. We have an ultimate, and... Ooh, Assault Black Feather. This is awesome. It's not an ultimate, it's an ultra. I was wrong in the rarity, but I did just see the uh, gold naming. And uh, the, the writing was just... It, it made me hope for another ultimate. That would have been crazy. The, the, the luck you'd need to have to get two ultimate rares in one box. That would be ridiculous. We still haven't seen any supers, and we only have three foils. But we're maybe a quarter into the opening, so it's not that bad up to now. Oh, another rank up.
And uh, yep, I did say Assault Black Feather instead of Assault Black Wing, because in the TCG, it's a BF for Black Feather and not uh, Black Wings. And we have, oh, a Speedroid. That's cool. Next pack. We're getting there. We're getting there. Come on, Ghost Reaper. Help me finish the trilogy of Ghost Girls in Korean. That would be insanely cool for me and my collection. Oh, we have our Digital Bug uh, Rank 5 card. I'm not even going to try to remember the name, but it's uh, the, the moth thing, I believe. Or was it called Butterfly? But I believe it's Moth Thing in the name. Next pack. Morphage. Bad Aim. And another one of those. Okay. I'll take it. Never too many. Rares. At least. Commons, maybe sometimes you have too many, but rares, you never have too many. And we have... Ooh, nice. We have the, 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 the Blue Eyes uh, Synchro. That is very cool. So we have the Ultimate Rare and the Synchro. So these are pretty awesome to have. Honestly, in the same box, not going to complain at all about this. This is great, great, great. With the Crystal Wing and the Black Wing. So we have three Ultras and one Ultimate. We have no secrets and we have no supers up to now. So uh, we're still looking forward to at least one more ultra, one secret. Uh, <laughs> if we're very, very ballsy, let's say a ghost rare. And we obviously are looking for our supers, which are still not found. Where are they? We're almost halfway through and we still have no supers at all. Still no supers, but Luna Lights are still going strong. That's, uh, is that Dancer? Uh, Luna Light Leo Dancer? I don't remember the exact name. Panther Dancer, Le uh, Leo Dancer, some something Dancer. Luna Light, Luna Light again. And still no foils that are under ultra rare it would be crazy if we have no supers at all but we have like six ultras and uh one ultimate and one secret i wouldn't even be mad oh we have a fusion that's an ultra ultra rare what <laughs> so we have the the big fusion for the luna lights so that is pretty cool so we have our four ultras and we have our one ultimate now we're looking for supers and maybe a ghost. And we're still waiting for that secret rare. But I'm very, very worried. <laughs> Where are the supers? Because uh, Ghost Reaper is either a secret or a super in this set. And uh, the two other ghost girls I have in my collection are supers. So I wouldn't be mad if, if we got a super one. Okay, so we got this thing. Oh, and that thing is the one on this image. So, yep, this confirms that this is an Amorphage card. So, that's pretty neat, I guess. No rare cards at all in that pack, though. It's not the first, and it won't. It probably won't be the last. Usually, you get at least four packs without any rare cards in them. Still, <laughs> no supers. But we have a Mazolium of White, I believe is the name of that field. Been a while since uh, I have played Blue Eyes cards. You'll have to forgive me. Raid Raptors. And still, no supers. Where are they? The hunt for supers is going on. We're probably two-thirds of the booster box. And, uh... We got pretty good pulls up to now. Wow! No way! We got a ghost rare! Holy crap, guys. We got a ghost... Holy crap. This is looking amazing. I sleeve it up right away because I did not take any time to 
just like let it get damaged or anything it's fresh out the pack we have the ultra and we have the ghost rare crystal wings synchro dragons this is amazing especially for me because i'm a big big fan and player of wind witches and this is like their boss card basically this is insane i love this so we have no supers, but we have an ultimate, four ultras, and one ghost rare. What is going on in this pack? Holy crap, this this is the basically free box I got. This is insane. We got some awesome pulls. And we're still looking for our supers. They're just going to pop out all at the same time or something. This is ridiculous. Wow. Okay, I'm, I'm, I still have to show you guys this card. It's just insanely cool. Look at all that. Just love it. Next pack. The only thing that would make this an even better opening would be a Secret Rare Ghost Reaper. I don't know what other Secret, rare there, uh, secret Rares there are in this set. Probably... Uh, crystal Wing will also be a Secret Rare. If we get a Secret Rare Crystal Wing, that would be crazy. We got one of each rarity. That would be insane. We have our first Super. We have... Uh, is that Priest? Priest or Sorcerer? I do not remember. But we have our first Super, guys. This is good. We have a uh, White card, basically. Because I don't know how to call them. I, I know it's like of White. But uh, I don't want to call them of white. So I'm just going to call them white. Or eyes of white or something like that. Uh, eyes of blue. Oh, yeah, right. There are the eyes of blue. Uh, this is basically a priestess with eyes of blue, I believe. Why do I keep saying of white? It's of it's uh, eyes of blue. Pardon, my, <laughs> pardon me, guys. Uh, I made a very pathetic mistake up to now. But this is cool. We have a uh, red eyes tune dragon. Neat. So yeah, we did see our first super. Uh, it took all the other rarities except for a secret to see our first super. So that's pretty insane. And we have an Amorphage rare. Neat. I remember when people were hyping the Amorphage cards because they were going to be pretty good uh, to uh, make some uh, not great powerful decks, but at least to make some uh, under the radar decks. Uh, some anti-meta decks and stuff like that back then, but they did not last long. That was somewhat disappointing. We have a Melodious. That's cool. So we have uh, maybe six packs, seven packs left. And we only saw one super up to now. We're supposed to get a lot more than just one. So, uh, yeah, we got another. This is uh, Stardust uh, Sephir, I believe. Sephir Dragon. That's cool. So we have our second super. That's neat. We'll take it. We have a lot of pretty good looking cards. Maybe they're not the strongest cards, but they are pretty good looking. Uh, our supers have great artwork. We have a ghost rare. We have an ultimate rare. Everything looks pretty dashing up to now. And we have... Wow, okay. So, uh... White Stone of Legend, I, uh, no wait, that's not the one. But still, I, I believe this was an ultra rare for us, so having it as a rare in Korean is pretty crazy, honestly. We're pretty close to being done with this booster box. And, wow, okay, we have our secret rare. I was not expecting this card to be a secret, especially since the big uh, Lunar Light Fusion was an Ultra. But this is great. Look at that. She looks menacing. Very cool. So we have our secret. Now we're only missing some supers. I do not know where to put this, so I'll just put it up in front there. We only have just a few packs left, so it's not going to hide the other cards for too long. Come on, Ghost Reaper. Still looking for you. And we have... Uh, is this... Uh, that's not Luster. It's a Lecter? Lecter Pendulum? That's still pretty cool. We have another Super. Look at that face. 
He looks evil. Very evil. Three packs left, and uh, we're still looking for at least two supers. At least. So, uh, we got one more, and this was a very expensive card over here as an ultra rare that got reprinted in Battles of Legend as a secret rare, uh, if I'm not mistaken. I believe this is Sage uh, with Eyes of Blue. This was a very, very expensive card over here. It was a must-have for any uh, Blue Eyes deck. Oh, w wait, there was another pack. <laughs> that was the fourth to last pack. Okay, we're still going pretty strong then. Let's do it. And we have a Raid Raptor. I think this is Pain Lanius. I'm not a big Raid Raptor player, but I do know a few of them. Uh, and I think that's his name. Next pack. Second to last. Let's see some end of booster box magic. And we have our... Oh, we have a Performapal Odd Eyes uh, Phoenix, I believe is the name. So we have our five supers. We have our four ultras. We have one secret, one ghost, and one ultimate. At this point, I'm not expecting any kind of foil at all, but if we do see a super rare Ghost Reaper, this would be the best Korean Shining Victories box I've ever heard of. So let's do it. Let's get it. Black Feather, and we got a rare, but it's a Lunar Light, and uh, that's a pretty good Lunar Light too. Uh, Blue Panther, I believe. Something like that. So yeah, it's uh, it's been a pretty good box. Honestly, guys, uh, we got some pretty decent rares. Uh, we got lots of uh, blue eyes cards. We got lots of uh, Luna Light cards. Amorphages. Uh, or is that the way you say their name in plural? I do not know. Uh, we got lots of pretty interesting cards. Not going, not going to lie. Pretty satisfied with this. We got some pretty good supers. We got two of the blue eyes support cards. We got two of the Pendulum support cards, basically, and one of the Stardust cards. So that's pretty good. And we got ourselves one Secret Rare, uh, Loonlight Panther, I believe the name would be. And this would be Leo Dancer, or whatever. That's an Ultra Rare. We have a Ghost Rare, Crystal Wing. I keep trying to say Clear Wing, but it's not Clear Wing, it's Crystal Wing. And we have an Ultra Rare of it, too. We have uh, Assault Black Feather. Uh, this is the one that gains attack, I believe. Uh, we have these two awesome looking Blue Eyes cards, including an Ultimate Rare. So that is very, very cool. And uh, that's pretty much it for what we got in this booster box. Uh, it was a pretty good box overall. Uh, pretty satisfied with my pulls. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next vid for the next booster box of this set. Because uh, this video has been going on for at least 20 something minutes already. And uh, don't want to take you guys uh, too much time out of your lives with one vid. So um, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, probably going to post the videos uh, one day apart or something like that. Just so you guys can at least get more content quickly. Instead of making one long ass vid. So uh, I'll see you guys pretty soon. And uh, leave a like, leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't, because a lot more content is coming your way. Both TCG and OCG content, obviously. So uh, stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys then. Penem out.